uh, doing things, uh, doing uh, using this technology. So yes. first and foremost, sinasabi mo yun mis from them magkakaroon ng opposition. Okay. How about the business side? Will Windows or will uh, other companies na yung mga branded oppose this bill? Actually, they've uh, always tried to oppose it. Ah, pero, they already tried. They, they, they've, they've already been doing that. Kasi, ah, okay. Um, pero they have realized na this is a force that is a worldwide phenomena. It's it's yeah, it's there and it's and it's uh, you cannot change it. Mm. Just like globalization, you just have to adapt. Okay. And makita natin na yung mga cream of the crop, the programmers, are re realizing na open source is the right direction to, ah, okay. to embrace. Oh. So But, undoubtedly, uh, even if some groups would like to oppose it, it is be already beyond uh, realistic. Uh, Uh, I mean, realistically, it can no longer be opposed because it's a worldwide phenomenon and it's already the trend. Yeah. So, para ding sa pharmaceutical industry, the generics uh, thing is already in and you cannot avoid it, you cannot prevent it, but instead, you just adapt your companies, your setup, to just to, 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 to meet no? the competition later on. Yes. Because I, I would uh, surmise that there will be a strong competition between the open source and the the branded mm -hmm. because the branded will stay as branded yes uh, or they will also make some uh, generics on their own yes in fact that is a trend now even microsoft have uh, they they formed a group where they use open source software now ah okay tapos ang ginagawa nila they use it para ma-improve naman yung services nila kasi it's a phenomenon like, like you said Ed. it's a phenomenon that's there and mm. it's he here to stay yeah Ngayon, Um, as an industry, siguro, para, and as practitioners in, in the field of IT, what we need to do is we need to open our, our, minds, our minds to that kind of open source technology. Tapos, ang playing field natin is pagalingan ng services, tapos pagalingan ng creativity. Okay, now, Art, uh, let's focus a little bit on the bill. No? Uh, because, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, mentioned by Congressman Casino, it's already on second reading. Yes. I want to know the opposition against the bill in the House of Representatives. Is it present? Is there an existing opposition to that particular bill? May mga lobby groups ba against the passage of the bill um, that you know of? There are several. There are so, several? Uh, yeah, but the thing is, as I, this is the, the usual uh, thing. Eh? They're not saying that open source is, uh, is bad. Okay, diba? because they cannot say it. They cannot I mean, say it's say not it. true. It... Ang nakita lang nila is that yung kano yung nakagis nang kasi nila mas madali. Okay. And the, the one of the issues we have in in, in in Congress is the politicians that we have in, in the office right now, the my power, are not that IT savvy. Okay. Uh, forgive me for saying so, pero hindi nila nakita yung implications sa Siguro a few uh, are IT savvy, but majority, mm -hmm. majority they're are, not really that uh, savvy or concerned about this thing. So, although they may not be opposing actively, they're not supporting. They're not supporting either. actively either because they're not. It's not of importance mm -hmm. to, to their job as a legislator. Yes. Hindi nila concern yon. Mm -hmm. So probably a lobby group like yours, the Dabawinyo, <coughs> can play a, a big role. In lobbying, in trying to influence, trying to educate, to inform our legislator, our congressman, our senators about this open source. Mm -hmm. uh, have you been doing this or similar organizations like Dabawenyo? Yes, uh, us here in, in Dabawenyo, um, we've always been um, advocating the use of free and open source software. And the way we're doing it is through training. Uh, mm -hmm. We partner with different schools, different organizations. Tapos nag promote kami ng use ng open source software. Um, kasi ang, ang nangyayari sa industry natin ngayon, <coughs> excuse me, if you don't have the machinery to pay for the ads, mahirap ka mag-lobby ng yeah, oh. So what we do is, we go to the grassroots, we teach them open source. But the, our decision makers, mm. have you lobbied no, with the haven't. decision? You already did. No, we haven't. Ah, you haven't. So, yeah. uh, do you think that is uh, an appropriate uh, action to do? To lobby uh, the legislators? To have a meeting with them, a forum? Uh, so that they will understand better? 
what you're talking about? Yes, uh, we spoke with, with Congressman uh, Castillo and we were urged or encouraged to write our um, local congressmen and to encourage them to look at the bill and support the bill sa, for the good of the Philippines. Kasi po, ang, ang open source software is not just free, you know. Um, it's, it's a software that's, that can evolve. Bakit po? Kasi po, lahat ng ingredients nandiyan na. Ang Filipino ay likang creative talaga. And they're very savvy in, in IT. Yeah. So what we need to do is empower the Filipino, yes. give them the software, give them the Give code. them the challenge. Yeah. And let them, and, Kasi and pag, let us improve it. Pag branded na, wala nang challenge eh. Wala na po eh. Gagamitin mo na lang. Mm -hmm. Di ba? Uh, hindi kagaya ng open software. Our ECE like you, mm -hmm. no? Electronic mm -hmm. Communications Engineer like you, will be challenged to uh, develop or to update or to make better mm -hmm. the existing ones. Anyway, uh, Art, uh, uh, 